Hello, and welcome to another Best Practices video with SQL. Today, we're going to kind of be reviewing something we've already reviewed, which if you remember in our last video uh, about kind of best practices, we, we were looking at this table called raw values. And it just has some numbers, really. It's just a table with a few numbers. And we discussed, you know, adding multiply by one to make sure that no matter what your value is, when you're dividing by things, that you get a float. Uh, because otherwise, you know, with this, when you, multiply, when you divide it, you actually get, you know, a float, whereas if I were to take away this multiply by uh, 1.0, you get zero. So this is just a really quick tip, and that's all we want to do with that video. But in this video, I started thinking about, you know, another problem that I ran into uh, as a younger engineer, um, it was a divide by zero error. You know, when you kind of know what all your numbers is, numbers are, sorry, numbers is, numbers are, you, uh, you get kind of cocky and think, well, there's never going to be a divide by zero error problem. But Let's say there are cases where it happens, you know? So case when, in this case, let's say your value uh, is bigger than 1,000, one, else, zero, n. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that we don't have any values that are greater than 1,000, so you get a divide by zero error. And if you have this in the ETL, you just broke your ETL. Your ETL was running just fine, and now your ETL is broken, and you know everyone's you know yelling at you for breaking the build kind of thing, and it was a really simple error, and you really should have thought about it. Like you're, it, it, you don't think about it, but you should think about it, right? Like it's one of those things that, you know, you thought like, oh, I just have to divide by this thing and there's always values there. When will there not be values there? And trust me, whenever you, again, whenever you think there's not gonna be something, there's gonna be something. So really it's not hard to deal with at all. You wanna just say a case statement when, um, you know, case when this, this line here equals zero, then you have to do something and what you do depends on the goal. Like let's say this is a ratio. So if this is some sort of ratio between two values, well then what you're really gonna say is the ratio is now uh, something like this. Um, and you might do something hacky, but it's the only thing that makes sense, you know, plus one divided by one. Um, else, this other answer. So now you've got this, uh, these two options, right? Now when, uh, it equals zero, you're gonna do uh, basically a very simple one. You're gonna put a one below, so at least you end up with a safe number. Um, else, you are going to actually do the division. So now, when we do the select by, blah, 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 we actually get the total, and it's a ratio, sure. Um, you're making an assumption, but you, you, you kept your system from breaking. It's a very simple step, but now your ETL won't break. And again, it seems super simple, but Best practices are always just those little tips and tricks that save you a lot of time. You know, uh, I'm sure you'd figure this out pretty quickly, but in case you forgot to test it or you maybe tested it and didn't test this specific case, this is something you should always do. Uh, I pretty much have it nailed in my brain. If you're doing a division statement, always write a case statement to check if your value is zero. Again, if you're writing a divide, division problem, no matter how it looks like, no matter how your data looks like, always assume you're gonna get zero eventually and check for it. Uh, so this has been a quick tip video. Remember to divide, remember to check if you're dividing by zero. Um, and with that, I will go on and let you on to the next video. Thank you.